Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with our new special seven day outlook for the Pacific Islands. And we kick off with our Southern Hemisphere thunderstorm map. Uh, this is for Tuesday morning or Monday evening if you're in Hawaii. Um, we don't have Hawaii on this map, we do in the next one, but you can see the thunderstorms out here, mostly out at sea, but there are a couple just brushing Fiji at the moment. You're sort of in the convergence zone where you can see the winds turning northerly on one side and southerly on the other. So where the winds meet, perfect place for a thunderstorm. But actually not very stormy out there at the moment. The other set of thunderstorms west of Papaiti and mostly out at sea, although affecting some of the islands there. Here is the bigger picture showing the northern hemisphere as well. Hawaii up here to the north, Fiji down here to the south and the equator right in the middle. So the usual low pressure zone uh, around the equator and the trade winds, the easterlies blowing along. You can see that southerly coming out of the Tasman Sea for the Vanuatu, New Caledonia area. Otherwise, there is not a lot actually happening. The main feature is low pressure down towards New Zealand. So let's move through to Wednesday. Uh, down here in the Southern Hemisphere, you can certainly see not a lot <laughs> going on. You've still got the easterly winds heading towards uh, Tonga and uh, Fiji as well. Nothing too strong in there. Uh, in fact, it's quite dry at the moment and we are heading towards the wetter season, which kicks off in November with the cyclone season. So for now, fairly calm, make the most of it. It does usually get much stormier once we get into November. So for Thursday, still not a lot going on. Easterly winds from Rarotonga over towards Tonga and Fiji, and now finally coming into New Caledonia and Vanuatu as your um, southerly portion starts to fade away. But by Friday, that southerly portion now coming through here. So places like Nukualofa, your temperature might be down just a degree or two by the time you get to Friday. And also uh, up into Fiji, maybe a degree or two just taken off your daytime high as that southerly flow from near New Zealand comes in towards you. Otherwise, still fairly quiet. So this weekend, if you're heading off to the tropical islands for a holiday, or if you live there, not much going on. The high pressure zone in the uh, southern portion of the map extending further out. So the wet weather shifts further up towards the equator and we start to see those showers disappearing for the most part. There are a few just south of the Cook Islands here. Uh, on Sunday, they fall apart further. And this big high pressure zone from the Tasman Sea expands further up. So uh, Tonga, Fiji, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, drier weather as a result of that high pressure zone. The easterly winds may still be a little bit brisk and you'll still notice a bit of a southeasterly twist to it, which means um, maybe still a little bit cooler by only a degree or two uh, as we head through to Sunday. So next week for our final uh, forecast map here for next week, you can see this big area of high pressure. That is the reason why you're seeing mostly dry weather and those easterly winds blowing through. They might be a little bit stronger because of that powerful high coming through on Monday next week. And a little bit of wet weather just near Rarotonga there. Nothing major though. Again, it's a fairly quiet week coming up. So as we head up to the seven day animation for Honolulu, you can see pretty much dominated by easterly winds and just a few showers. Not much going on as well in the Northern Hemisphere. And to end with, we put up the seven day rain format. This is actually one of the best ways to really look at the weather coming through because you see lots of days with showers, lots of easterlies. One of the reasons we actually don't make um, many of these uh, Pacific Island videos during the winter months of the year is because there's just really not much going on. Easterlies and showers day after day. So when you take a look at it for the next seven days ahead, you can start to see where those showers are building up. So most of them are actually north of the island groups. You can see them heading further off towards the Solomon Islands where you, when you get that purple and blue around each other, that's where you're getting 100 to 150 or even 200 millimeters of rain. So a fair bit of rain still up around the Solomons. It tapers off though, once you head into Vanuatu and track southwards, and not a lot of rain really around Fiji as well. So make the most of the mostly dry weather coming up. It's a good time of year to be heading off to the tropical islands for a holiday. That's all from me. We'll be back again in a week with our next seven day outlook. And like I say, as we head towards the cyclone season in November, we should expect to see a little more life showing up in the uh, long range forecasts. That's all from me. Have a great week ahead. We'll see you again with our next Pacific Islands update next Tuesday.